Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about, uh, about XRP. Quick addition to yesterday's video. So we are currently exploring if the move of the lows um, of early January, yeah, if that was an impulse, um, and then the current decline, a correction. It currently looks corrective on the way down at the moment. Um, so I'm currently counting this as a possible WXY structure that ideally goes into this region and does not eventually go be below 32.8 cents. So the idea is still that there is a chance to get there. So far, XRP has sort of listened to and been constrained by the just the structural support levels here that I indicated on the video with these dotted lines. So here the 36.4 cent level was quite a relevant support level where we find, found support several times throughout the last um, few weeks. Either way, currently, and we discussed it in yesterday's video, we are looking at this as a WXY structure. So we are currently watching if the B wave could be complete, because as I highlighted to you yesterday, that B wave should ideally turn around now. Now, the uptrend is clearly still intact, but we saw a bullish engulfing candle, so we're going to zoom in in a minute. Um, the idea was that if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, the B wave shouldn't really go much higher. Okay, so we're looking normally at a limit of the 78.6 retracement that is at around 40 cents and therefore I highlighted to you, ideally we're gonna see a reaction to the downside. We saw a small reaction down to 38 roughly, but not substantial enough to really confirm the B wave is finished. So it has reached certainly a pivot point. Um, if What happens if the B wave goes higher? So that's one question that we need to answer. And what is the signal that we need that the, um, what would be the signal that we need that this B wave is over and that the C wave has actually started? Because that's the other the other thing, right? Um, at the moment, we're purely watching if we see a reaction there, um, but the trend obviously hasn't really shifted yet. So what we can do, um, if I'm labeling the B wave itself as, and it is not an ABC because this move up is too choppy, but I can label the B wave itself as a WXY. So it's WXY. That could certainly be finished at some point here. Um, and purely by looking at the Fibonacci retracements. Yeah. Also by looking at, let's say, the length of the wave W, we compare that to the length of the Y wave, we've basically reached a 1.618 extension there. It's an ideal target for a Y wave, okay? So we touched it. Uh, so there is strong resistance up there. So we're watching, is this move finished? And then you can label the move up as an ABC within Y. Um, however, how do we determine that the C wave is, is running, that the C wave is in force? So for that, what we can do, we can... Co um, create this corrective price channel by connect, collect, collecting, connecting waves W and Y, add it to the X wave low. And as soon as that trend channel breaks, then we can say the C wave is running. As long as we are still in the channel, we are probably gonna move higher. And we could then explore, um, especially if the move down isn't starting to be impulsive, which the C wave should be, we can be watching if the X wave is still unfolding as a triangle. Certainly a possibility, you know, um, did I have it? Yeah, because an X wave can be an Elliott wave triangle. So we could be looking at this as maybe then um, here the A wave of a triangle, the B wave, the C wave, the D wave and the E wave, which eventually then should lead to a move down. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Um, it is not entirely clear yet if the B wave is indeed finished, but we have reached a pivot because it's the 1.618 of the Y wave and it's the 78.6 retracement of the um, of the A wave. Yeah, So there's a strong resistance level there. And you now have this trend channel as well, very well defined. So you can uh, identify. So basically, um, a break of the channel to the downside would signal the onset of the C wave. Now, only when we really have a top in place for B, which might be the case, but it's not confirmed yet, I will be able to really give you a target for C, but I would say we head most likely into this area between 32.8 and 35 cents. Resistance is known. If we break any higher, I think we have next resistance at around 40.9 cents. That's an area where 
we've seen previous resistance here and here that sort of structural resistance wouldn't be surprised to test that again and yeah that's sort of my view about uh, xrp the move up looks corrective in my opinion yeah it's not really impulsive at least not yet and it's not doing anything different to what it did before here um bear in mind that these corrective price structures always morph into different counts um, best is to understand that this is a corrective structure and that most likely at least we haven't started the rally in a third wave that's of course a possibility that the third wave has started but it's not likely yet um, if we started the third wave then first of all this move up is, is not impulsive yet um, if it turns out to be impulsive i'm happy to change my view but for now um, i just purely have no strong signs a strong signal or at least the first indication that we already are in the third wave into the yeah you could say 55 cent range maybe higher would be a break above the channel so if we if we break above this trend channel then we can talk but then also what we need to ensure is that we get five waves yeah at the moment we have only three if we get five waves and then a pullback in three that might be the next trade setup here Okay, that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.